It had been three days since my raid went sour in Colombia. I knew whatever we'd stumbled across was pretty big. I and the other two guys who'd survived had been officially listed as MIA while the brass tried to find out what the hell was going on. I didn't even begin to suspect how bad this was until I got a call from Robert. Robert Jackson was an old friend of the family. Started out as a rookie cop with my father. 30 years later ended up director of the CIA. Now here I was, waiting to meet him in a downtown Chicago parking garage at 2 a.m. Robert, is that you? Nice to see you again, John. Sorry it's not under more fortunate circumstances. Likewise, Bob. So, what's going on? I take it dragging me out here is connected to Columbia. I'm afraid so. Now off the record, that was the third Delta Force team we've lost in similar circumstances in the last two months. And this meeting means it's not just coincidence. There's someone new on the scene. They seem to have ties into the Russian Mafia. They've got terrorist groups working together who'd normally kill each other on sight. And Colombian drug cartels on their payroll? Most definitely. I need you to work solo with ex-Soviet authorities. Draw out whoever it is and shut them down permanently. Don't you already have a room full of people for this kind of thing? Can't use my regular people. They seem to have a line on our operations. Anticipate every attempt we've made. I've lost a lot of friends. Where do I sign up? Hey! You checked the top yet? Relax. Who in the right mind's gonna try breaking into Mr. Stanton's place? Check the top floor, jerk. Okay, okay, I'll check it in a minute. Looks like a comm unit. That could be useful. I can listen to what they're up to. Media backup. 
I better take down his goons before I try to smoke him out. I need a little information. <laughs>